Fashion psychologist Don Karen believes Melania is giving clues with her style. Melania Trump may be known as a woman of few words, but it seems that the first lady is speaking volumes through her fashion choices. With her aversion to public speaking and seemingly impenetrable facet, it has been hard to catch glimpses of the first lady's personality, but fashion psychologist Don Karen believes that Melania gives away several clues through her personal style. She may appear to be difficult to read because she isn't as flamboyant or as vocal as most first ladies that we've seen in the past, Mize Karen says, but as a fashion psychologist, when I analyze her I see her as speaking without saying words, she speaks very loudly through her clothing. She notes that as a former model Melania has been trained to keep an impassive expression and maintain a quiet demeanor in public, she seems to be very introverted. Maybe the most introverted first lady we've ever had, Mize Karen says, but she adds that Melania's style betrays a sense of her personality. Drawing on a few key styles that Melania favors, Mize Karen, who is known as a pioneer in the world of fashion psychology and founded the Fashion Psychology Institute, discusses what she believes the first lady's fashion can tell us about her as a person. Melania is often photographed wearing her coat draped over her shoulders, creating a cape-like effect. When the first lady sported this style has left the White House in February with a canary yellow full-length overcoat hanging over a coordinating Ralph Lauren yellow sweater and Pierre Herve leather skirt social media users speculated that her penchant for this style could be a crafty technique to avoid holding her husband's hand. Mize Karen believes this is perhaps going a step too far, but she says that the style is a nod to Melania's reclusive and introverted nature. Covering her hands and arms lets her appear less inviting and less warm, she says. Opening bracket Melania closing bracket is saying, I'm creating a barrier, a protective shield. Mize Karen suggests that this shield gives Melania a sense of invincibility. When you wear capes you feel untouchable, she says. And given that Melania is getting some flack from the media and from the citizens of America about her not being as vocal especially coming in after the previous administration I think wearing these cape-like structures gives her that feeling of dominion, that superwoman power. Melania's pension for towering heels has drawn criticism in the past. The first lady was mocked for her impractical footwear when she donned a pair of black Minolo Blonix Delettas last August while on her way to visit Hurricane's Trick in Texas. But this has not deterred the first lady's fondness for sky-high designer pumps, and Mize Karen attributes this to her seeking confidence. It's the opposite of the Napoleon complex, she says. When you're wearing high heels your confidence goes up. Some women feel like they are towering over others and it helps them to feel powerful. When Melania wore an all-white Dior pantsuit to the State of the Union address in January, Speculation was rife in the media over what point the First Lady was trying to convey. The color was once considered the Democrats' signature tone, with members of the party sporting all white at the previous year's address. White was favored by the suffragettes, and was famously worn by Hillary Clinton throughout much of her presidential campaign. But political motives aside, Mize Karen believes Melania's fondness for wearing white is an attempt to portray an image of purity. Some say that opening bracket Melania closing bracket has a lewd, salacious background, she says, that she participated in other activities that were not so first lady-like, wearing white is kind of an ode to purity that she is trying to portray. It's kind of a paradox, says Mize Karen she seems to not want to have contact or human touch, but she then embellishes the arm area. Mize Karen points out that Melania has a pension for dresses and shirts that have flamboyant and detailed sleeves, compared to her predecessor, Michelle Obama, who liked to show off her famous latoned arms in sleeveless dresses. Melania prefers to keep her arms covered either with long sleeves or her coat draped over her shoulders. But the former model is not afraid to draw attention to her arms, often picking pieces that embellish this area. She chose a Dior dress with wide flutter sleeves for the unveiling of the White House Christmas decorations, a white Roxana Ilancic dress with bell sleeves for the RNC in 2016, and a hot pink Del Pozo dress with voluminous sleeves for a UN luncheon last September. 
Mize Karen believes the first lady opts for this style as it encourages people to pay attention to her, but to not get too close. Again, she's saying, look at me but don't touch. Although Melania is known for her quiet demeanor, her clothes are often loud. It's not uncommon for the first lady to be seen in bright, eye-popping colors even when her style is classic and pared down. And it is rare to see the Melania without her hair flowing in long glossy waves and her makeup flawless. Mize Karen, who worked as a model herself before entering the world of fashion psychology, attributes this very put-together look to Melania's own modeling experience. She says that Barbie-ish look comes from her model background, opening bracket as a model closing bracket before you go in front of the camera or out on the runway, you have to have your face on, you have to be at your best, at a 10, you can step out of your house looking any less. The first lady is often spotted with her face hidden behind huge sunglasses even at night time. Last October, she was mocked on Twitter when she returned to the White House after visiting victims of the Las Vegas shooting sporting her signature dark shades, despite the fact it was dark outside. Just days earlier, Melania was also criticized for wearing sunglasses as she met with residents of Hurricanes Trick in Puerto Rico with several commentators expressing their outrage on social media that she didn't make the effort to look the people she greeted in the eye. But Mize Karen believes the first lady adopts this fashion for that very reason to avoid having to make too much contact with others by using the sunglasses as a shield. She says, again, this is her being introverted and reclusive, opening bracket she's saying closing bracket, I really don't want you to look at me. I'm not really a people person but because of this presidency, because of this administration, I have to go out here and shake hands and be interactive, but I really feel shy, I really feel nervous. Despite her tendency to shy away from the spotlight, Melania has frequently chosen to wear figure-hugging outfits that show off her curves, in a style that could be seen as daring for a first lady. She showed off this fashion last October when she attended a Hispanic Heritage Month event alongside her husband dressed in a dark pink fitted skirt with a ruffled mermaid hem paired with a figure hugging off white sweater. This style is similar to the styles worn by sweater girls like Jane Mansfield, Marilyn Monroe, and Jane Russell, who sparked a trend in the 40s and 50s of wearing round neck, skin tight knits in order to emphasize their chests. Mize Karen says, it reminds me of when I was working out in the Middle East, and many women were conservative in their dress but they showed off their curves. I think Melania is saying, I'm being conservative but I'm still letting you know, hey, Virginia Vavum I am a woman. She notes that before Melania's husband entered politics, she appeared to be comfortable dressing provocatively and was not afraid to show some skin. That's still underneath there, Mize Karen says, that's still something about her but she has to figure out another way to convey that sex appeal, without being jarring and without being inappropriate.